Four, we are at the Orion Township Municipal Complex Boardroom. I would like to open the Charter Township of Orion Planning Commission meeting. Can I have a roll call, please? <coughs> Reynolds. Here. Gross. Here. St. Henry. Here. Lewinowski. Here. Walker. Here. Cummins. Absent with notice. Love it. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you very much. This evening, we do have a public hearing at 7.05 for PC 24-16. Uh, 1115 South Lapeer Road rezone. The request is to rezone 1115 South Lapeer Road, parcel 0914226004 from office and professional OP to general business. Uh, we will proceed with our regular agenda um, until the advertised 705 time. At that point, I will ask the petitioner to step up to the podium, uh, make a brief presentation, and then we'll open up the um, citizen portion of the public hearing. If we have any letters, we'll read those into the record, and then the Planning Commission will have an opportunity to ask a question or comments, and then the petitioner has the ability to respond if they so choose, and then we will close the public hearing and reconvene a regular meeting. Um, with that said, we ask all trips up to the podium to be limited to one trip and three minutes, and everyone be respectful of the process. All comments and questions be directed towards myself as the chair of the Planning Commission. With that said, I'll proceed with our regular agenda. So that leads us back to item number three. We have items three A, B, and C, uh, number of meeting minutes from our prior meeting last month on the 17th. Any discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion. With the minutes of uh, April 17th uh, under A, B, and C be approved as submitted. A motion to have support. Support. Support by Mr. Walker. Further discussion by the Planning Commission? Seeing none, any public discussion? All those in favor, please stay with aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. That leads us to item number four, agenda review and approval. Any discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion. I move to approve the agenda as submitted. I have a motion by Mrs. Urbanowski. Further support? Support. <laughs> support by Mrs. St. Henry. Further discussion by the Planning Commission. Seeing none, any public discussion? All those in favor, please stay with aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. Leads us to a brief public comment on non-agenda items. Anyone here looking to make brief public comment? See no one racing up to the podium. That leads us to our consent agenda. Items A through I, if uh, you so choose, we can approve the uh, consent agenda as submitted. If not, we will pull those items onto our agenda. We move to approve the consent agenda as presented. A motion to have support. Support. Support by Mr. Walker. Further discussion by the Planning Commission? Any public discussion on the motion? All those in favor, please stay with aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. All right, that only took us to 703. So we will stall for a couple more minutes here. If you guys want to step up, be ready for us. I'll make a quick turnover once we reach the advertised 705 time. Tell a funny joke? <laughs> no, not tonight. Bad jokes to tell. <laughs> no, dad's too tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to the destruction of documents tomorrow. I'll be in your department for Items A through I. Mm -hmm. Get to sign all those. Get to, get to go hang out with the lady. You have a joke? No. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Afterward. Not in the public forum. <laughs> All 
All right, I now have 7.05, so I'd like to adjourn our regular meeting and open the public hearing for PC 24-16, which is a conditional, or I'm sorry, a rezone, sorry, from office professional to general business. If the petitioner is here, we'd like to state your name and address for the record. Give us an overview of the request. Yeah, will you hit the green, bu the gray button at the bottom so the green light is on at the base of your mic? There, there we go. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. All right, I'll do that again. Thank you. Jim Butler, uh, PEA Group, address is 1849 Pond Run, Auburn Hills, Michigan, 48326. Uh, we are here um, on behalf of the applicant, Orion Crossing LLC, um, requesting the rezoning of the parcel at 1105 South Lapeer Road from office professional to GB. The subject parcel is located on the east side of Lapeer Road, south of Clarkson Road. It's a single parcel uh, comprised of approximately 1.15 acres. It's the current um, Oxford Bank site. Um, it's located south and west of the existing Meyer store and it is the to the north of the existing dental office. On the screen to the left is the current zoning map. Um, our parcel is currently zoned in that turquoise color, um, surrounded by GB. To the right is the future land use map, which designates um, this parcel and the surrounding parcels for general business. If we are successful with this rezoning, uh, the applicant intends to demolish the existing building um, and construct a single story retail building that will comprise of retail uses, potential restaurant uses, and a use for the um, Oxford Bank that'll be their new home. So with that, I'll answer any questions you may have. Awesome. We uh, will proceed with our public hearing. We, once we adjourn the public hearing, we'll proceed with uh, reviewers and then deliberation on the case itself. So if you would, if you want to step away from the podium as you already did, um, if uh, there's any citizens in the audience racing up, I don't see any. So I'll turn it over to uh, the Planning Commission. Any discussion points during the public hearing portion of this case? Okay, seeing none. Petitioner, you have an opportunity to speak again, if you would, to answer all the questions and comments that came up. I have none. Wonderful. Okay, with that said, at 7.07, I would like to close our public hearing and reconvene our regular meeting. Don't go too far, since our item uh, 7A is the same case. With that said, if you would like to add anything, you have the opportunity to do so. Otherwise, we'll turn it over to our planner's review. Yeah, I just want to go through one other slide. Yep, perfect. Um, in your zoning ordinance, there are five criteria located in that, and I think your planner will go through this. Um, Number one, the objectives of the master plan. Um, this amendment is consistent with the master plan, showing that it is general commercial. Um, the existing property and the general area in question, the uses are primary and commercial in nature. Um, the proposal would be consistent with those, with those uses. Three, the zoning classification of the property within the general area in question of the property, except for the existing dental office, everything in that area is general business. The rezoning would be compatible with the adjacent classifications. Uh, four, the suitability of the property in question for you permitted uses under the existing zoning classifications. Uh, the property has um, frontage uh, on, on Lapeer Road. The width is, exceeds the requirements of the general business. The parcel is located along Lapeer Road, which is a primary commercial corridor within the, within the area. And the site can be utilized for a variety of general, general business uses. And then the trend in the area generally in question, including changes that have recently taken place in the zoning. Subject master plan is master plan general commercial, um, as are all the adjacent properties. The master plan and future land use plan depicts the Lapeer corridor and for it to be developed in a commercial manner. So Thank you. we feel we meet all those criteria. Thank so you if very any much. questions, I'll answer them. All right, at this time, I'll turn it over to Carl R. Wartman for their planner's review of uh, the rezoning request. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, at least when Jim first went up, I said to myself, at least he didn't go over the factors of approval. And then he came up and gave, gave over the factors right. of approval. It's, it's all right. Um, I'm take your job, watch out. It, that's right. <laughs> I don't know if he wants it. Um, well, I, I appreciate uh, the, the thorough review, uh, Jim, that you gave. And I do agree with the, our five factors for rezoning, the surrounding land use, uh, 
both zoning and future land use planned uh, are compatible with proposed use. Uh, of course, once you do have a use, a specific use, you'll come before this body again uh, for much more detailed review uh, through a site plan or special use proposal. We, we, rec we recommend approval of this rezoning. Okay, thank you very much. There also was a, a review from our fire marshal and also our director of public services with uh, no major comments. Um, and I will just clarify that any rezone request is uh, we are recommending body, so the Board of Trustees is also involved in this process. So with that said, I'll turn it over to the Planning Commission for their thoughts, discussion. If uh, someone would like to make a uh, motion, we can put that on the table and further deliberate however we would like to proceed. Who wants to kick us off? I will, I guess. No, I think oh, Joe wants to make Joe, go ahead. <laughs> Joe? Um, no, no comments. Very okay. Good. Okay. I'll make a motion. All right. I move that the Planning Commission. Sorry. I move that the Planning Commission forwards a recommendation to the Township Board to approve PC 2416 1115 South Lapeer Road rezone request. Requesting to rezone 1115 South Lapeer Road, parcel 0914226004, from office and professional <clears throat> to general business. For the application date stamped, received 4424. This recommendation to approve is based on the following uh, findings of fact that this uh, <clears throat> request meets the objectives of the master plan. It's aligned with both our current. Uh, zoning um, as well as the future land uh, land use uh, two um, existing uses of property within the general area of the property in question uh, are consistent uh, is surrounded by general business and uh, general business zoning and uh, this would just make it uh, it would conform to that uh, C, the zoning classification of property within the general area of the property in question. Again, um, this piece of property is surrounded by other uh, commercial developments, with the exception of the doctor's office just south of it. The suitability of the property in question to the uses permitted under the existing zoning thing classification. Um, it meets all of the uh, proper frontage re requirements and so forth for this type of uh, development. And then the last one, um, again, this request to rezone from OP to GB is consistent with all of the developments uh, surrounding it, uh, up in, and it is a major commercial uh, thoroughfare in uh, Orient Township. I have a motion to have support. Support. support by Mrs. Urbanowski. Further discussion by the Planning Commission. I've got a couple of questions. Go ahead. Um, there's currently an access uh, to the north, uh, to the Myers site. Is that going to re remain? This one right here, right? Yes. Yes, that will remain. Okay. And second question is, um, is there any intended use of the subject property? I know it's early in the... What he's intending to put there? Yes. Yeah, what we're proposing is to demolish the building. Um, it's currently owned by um, Oxford Bank. Um, the applicant is buying the parcel from the bank and going to be constructing a single-story uh, building, which will house the bank and other retail and restaurant uses. Just curious if this was a candidate for a cannabis location. I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. No, it's not it meet in the industrial criteria. zone. Okay. Further discussion. I tend to uh, ag agree with uh, all the items in the motion. I do appreciate the applicant um, hitting not one but all five of our criteria of a rezone. Uh, we tend to see some that hang their hat on just one item and think that it should be a slam dunk, which isn't always the case. So um, I'm in support of it. It's obviously consistent with the area. So additional comments? Just one. Go ahead, Kim. Really not. I, I'm, I was wondering about the Oxford Bank as well. It's we, 
we take tax payments at that bank from people, so I got a little nervous about where. <laughs> I like the idea of not having to move that, so thank you. Any other comments? Any public comments on the motion? All right, motion to recommend approval to the Board of Trustees. Uh, can I have a roll call vote, please? Gross? Yes. St. Henry? Yes. Urbanowski? Yes. Walker? Yes. Lovett? Yes. Reynolds? Yes. Motion carries. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. We'll see you in a few months. Sounds like a plan. Seeing uh, we finished our new business, that leads us to item 8A, which is a township-initiated text amendment. John, you want to add anything? I know there's a few items in our packet, including a letter from, from Mark that I can read here if you have any comments to walk us through. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're in the process of uh, amending this language uh, as discussed at our last meeting. Uh, our, our plans are to have this draft language to you and be comfortable with it for the 15th, uh, the, the next 15th, the next meeting, um, at least in a form that we can share with the township attorney so that they can uh, give us the go ahead uh, to move it forward. Um, I know that Tammy's team has done a great job on putting together a couple flow charts for clear cutting and tree permitting. And also our engineer made some uh, good comments in regards to if we're gonna get much more strict, we, we perhaps want to be prepared for that, not only from a township consulting standpoint, but also, uh, to maybe take a look, and I'll, I'll incorporate this into the language that would uh, give them maybe some different incentives to protect trees rather than just paying into the tree fund. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll incorporate those into the language. But uh, good comments last time, uh, talking with Sally, who's our, our, our my tree expert. Uh, she's cha making those changes and making it actually more stricter than the one that we actually provided, but also added some flexibility, as you suggested. Uh, depending on the site. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, there was a letter in our packet from Mr. Landis of OHM, um, just kind of general feedback. We had a discussion and um, generally, you know, kind of in support of, of toughening up some parameters, but thoughts on toughening them up and incentivizing um, working around trees versus it just being translated towards, hey, we want money to replant trees. Um, and if uh, we were to kind of button up our tree ordinance, uh, we might need to consider review times and kind of general parameters of what that means in scope. And I think that is a um, valid concern. And I think that's where some of our discussion from last meeting was about, you know, do we lower, you know, some requirements, especially residentially and raise others, um, you know, because it's like a survey cost X, right? A survey with trees costs quite a bit more. So just real impacts to mm -hmm. projects and things, but I do think, you know, overall, just that fine balance of um, protecting our trees, but also being reasonable with applicants and residents. So any other comments on that topic? Go ahead, Mr. Walker. I would like to combine the ZBA issues of the fencing with this issue. One of my neighbors across the street from where I live has stuck right, not, not perhaps not on the property line, but Indian Wood Road, Close to the property line, about 10, oh, six foot arborvitaes, just brand new, just planted. It makes my heart sing. It's a fence, but it's not a fence. It's green things growing, and you can't see through them to see his house, or her house, or it, its house, whatever house. Mm -hmm. And I just think if everybody did that, look how great it would be around here. That's all. Understood. I agree. Any other comments? Kim, go ahead. Yeah, um, and I, I, I'm sorry that I wasn't here for this conversation, but I did listen to it, and um, uh, I agree with you, Mr. Walker, that, you know, we've gone from, you know, kind of like overlooking it a little bit to really kind of strengthening what we're, we're saying, and I'm, I'm proud of us for doing that, too. So um, I think that some of the things that Mr. Landa said, um, there are great points, incentivize rather than penalize. Um, and then he mentioned here something about an arborist. We do have someone. Okay. Got it. O OHM. I mean, we do, but I mean, he works for, yeah. for Parks and Rec, Rec, and they have, I mean, look at the parks and trails and everything we have. If we're talking the time to go out and check a site because they want to do this, I mean, that is 
a full-time arborist much. for planning and zoning. Okay. Um, again, we have the consultant that has someone to look at the plans, but if somebody's going out to you know, a single-family home and they want to do this, and who's going to go look at it? Right. Who, who's going to go do that? Yeah, I, I agree with the concern, but it's not much different than the research we do with, you know, how accurate a civil plan is or, th you know, things along those measures. I mean, we, we entrust there's some of that, and obviously there, if there's errors, there's actions we can take. But um, to me, I feel like we have enough resources where it's like, hey, there's, we're meeting the, the, the spirit or the intent of what's there, you know, aerial images, our site walk committee, various components. I mean, I think we all could agree where it's like, hey, this is a pretty heavily wooded lot. Um, you know, and maybe just food for thought, right, for the commission and for the site walk committee, you know, maybe that's where OHM's arborist can kind of, when we do have something, can walk us through some of those parameters of just, I don't know, things to look for, I don't know, 20-minute tra training component, right, mm -hmm. if, if there's something um, there, but just thought, you know, we're, we're kind of visually validating what we're going to see in our packets. What I would like to do is, is this email came in um, today in the middle of a very busy afternoon. Um, so I would like to reach out to Auburn Hills since he used that as a specific example of all the things that were a fallout of a more intense ordinance and just talk to them and, and you know, whether they can send me an email of, did you think of this, did you think of this? And I'm not saying that the direction you're going I'm opposed to, I'm just saying that, that you know, hearing him um, bring it up from his exposure with Auburn Hills are a number of things that I think we just need to consciously say, yep, we know it, yep, we know it. Again, is it an increase in staff? Is it my staff? Is it paying a consultant? Um, all of those things. I think that's a fine idea. And I, I, if I step back to your comments on the arborist, I mean, some communities do, do use an arborist. I know that, uh, for example, in Northville, if you cut a tree down in Northville, arborist has to go and look at that tree. Just a single fan, single tree in Northville, it has to be okayed. Maybe we're not that far. We're not going to be that strict. Uh, Canton Township, the same. Tree removals are reviewed by a, by a, a forester and an arborist. They give a report back to the community uh, as part of a site plan or as part of an overall project. But John, just as a question, couldn't that be a parameter if we did run into someone clearing the property without a, you know, some, where we would prompt that and say, hey, we need to have our thoughts on this, right? I mean, Absolutely. You know, and that's maybe an action to where, you know, we, we beef up that, that review and that consultant where, or, a, a, you know, we're looking at a 77-acre site, right? Like, we want to make sure we're kind of agreeing with the general gist, but I don't know. I think food for thought down the road, you know, I'm sure we'll come up with a, a good ordinance. solution. So. We will, and, I, and in regards to Mr. Walker's question on fencing, I, I think this kind of dovetails into what will be the next phase will be uh, up, updating our landscaping section and those kinds of things will be tied into that. More text emails. Thank you, Mr. Walker. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. This made Tammy's Christmas yeah. already. <laughs> it's only May. We only, got, we only got three major ones that we're going to get done this year. Only. Tree, landscaping, and PUD. Yeah, those well, are small, mm. easy, it's, it's, it's easy, it's easy May ones. Already. All right, any other closing comments on the topic? We're getting some comments or some review by some developers as to the uh, impact of the ordinance, just to see the other side of the, the fence. Yeah, I, I I don't oppose it. You know, to to not kind of create these in a vacuum. I'm sure they'll be the other end. You know, of of the perspective. But at the same time, I think that's valid to see and understand. And I do think you know we've seen a couple recently here where it's like we have people that. And, and applicants and, and property owners that are willing to work with us, right? But they, they need some further guidance, and I think right. that will help. But to your point, you know, the, the what ifs or hey, have we considered, you know, but I'm sure there'll be some upturn on, on some of our thoughts. <laughs> well, it would be nice to get some of that before we. Right, the public hearing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or at the public hearing. Yeah, I think their biggest issue probably, if we do share that with them, is going to be no longer treating. Uh, the building of the, the stormwater and utilities and the infrastructure areas. Development areas. Right, the development areas, so. Any other comments? All right, thank you very much. We look forward to that draft ordinance here in the near future. Public comments, since no one else is in the room, we'll move along. Uh, communications, we have none. Planner reports and education, we kind of just went over similar. Uh, no committee reports or future public hearings. I have no comments. So, Mr. Lovett, any other concluding comments? 
Nope. Mr. Walker. This may be my usual, in three weeks there's a library book sale. Mm. Seems like there's one every other week, doesn't there? But I think it's the 15th to the whatever. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Somewhere around in May. Awesome. We look forward to it. Thank you for that. Mr. St. Henry. I just wanted to thank Tammy for setting up the uh, planning and zoning essentials uh, workshop on Monday. I found it very useful. A nice refresher, uh, good materials. Thank you. Mr. Gross. Uh, piggybacking on uh, what Joe just said is that uh, I'd like to give accolades to the planning staff and to the chair uh, for following kind of the best practices that were outlined at the, at the uh, training session. Uh, it, I think it shows us that we are doing things in a sound, very practical way. Mr. Mr. Urbanowski. No comments from me. Go ahead, Tammy. Um, along that same line, um, with our new education requirement is a verbal or written report. So I was thinking, and, and re Redevelopment Ready likes to see it's on your agenda. That's why it's not on tonight. So um, the next agenda I will have under education report from and the individuals that went. And I, I would think maybe just a group discussion on a couple things that you, you know, even if you say one of the best practices was X and, and we're doing that. And it was like you just said, Mr. Gross, or, or Joe, you said you picked up a couple things. So I think if the individuals that attended were to do just do a little bit of this is the couple things I got or the one thing I got, then that would fulfill your reporting. Um, so keep that in mind. It will be on your agenda for next time. consist of good snacks. <laughs> yes, it was a very good dinner. It was a very good dinner. Box lunch is very good. <laughs> um, I you didn't I, tell us that there was a quiz <laughs> or a, a report out. Did you read your policy on, on continuing education that was provided last year? Yeah, it was right next to the IT policy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> sure. Go ahead, Mr. Yeah, Walker. I mentioned to Tammy that Commissioner St. Henry did take copious notes the entire five and a half hours we were there. Nice. So perhaps we could all in help him prepare a report on behalf <laughs> of the entire group. <laughs> homework, <laughs> homework but not in a quorum. To do the group project. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, bigger picture, I do do want to just say, and I, I know we kind of echo it many times after, you know, projects, but we really do have one of the, the best, if not the best, planning and zoning departments in Oakland County. And I don't mean to just say that because I'm friends with Tammy and the staff and, and I'm a resident here, but after doing work in a lot of townships and municipalities, it, it we go above and beyond to the point that, I'm usually talking blue in the face to Tammy saying we're giving them too much credit or we're trying to figure them, you know, their problems out on our behalf too much. So we do a really great job to be um, pushing projects through. And I will say, you know, there are very few commissions that meet three hours twice a month on a regular basis. So kudos to everyone here who, who makes the commitment to read their packets and be here because let's face it, it's a crappy job sometimes, right? So, you know, but we're here to do it. And even if we get beat up and get told that we can't plan ourselves out of a paper bag, we still show up the next meeting. So any other closing comment? You see how I kept bringing that one back in? Still haven't lived that one down. And you didn't say right. Right. <laughs> All right. With that said, I have 728. I would like to make a motion to adjourn to have support. Support. Support by Mr. Walker. All those in favor, please stay with aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries at 728.